Hey Leo, this is a peek at your partner for the week of July the 9th through July the 15th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Leo for July the 9th through July the 15th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Leo for July the 9th through July the 15th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Leo for July the 9th through July the 15th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Leo... Leo, this is a peek at your partner. So, Leo, your partner has the Ace of Swords. Your partner has the Nine of Wands. Your partner has the Fool. Your partner has Death. And your partner has the Six of Pentacles. So, Leo, your partner has the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Leo, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are having this communication. Your partner could tell me that they've come into some truth and clarity. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision or they're using this sword to sever Clarify the Ace of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands twice. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here, Leo. So, Leo, listen, your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious. They have the guard up. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or they're standing their ground. Now, listen, your partner could tell me that <clears throat> you guys are having this conversation and they're standing by what they say. Your partner could tell me that some truth and clarity is out and this is the reason why their guard is all the way up. They don't trust. They could be guarding, trying to guard some type of truth from coming out. Or for you gaining some type of clarity. Mm -hmm. Your partner could tell me that, you know, maybe they're going to be persistent here. We're trying to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. Or someone's using this sword to sever. Leo, your partner has the nine of wands again. So like I said, your partner could tell me that their guard is all the way up. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or they're standing their ground. Clarify the nine of wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the nine of wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the nine of wands for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the ace of pentacles. These aces? Clarified by the nine of wands here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. 
brand new practical beginnings. So some type of opportunity or practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. So there is some type of hesitation, some type of reluctant, reluctant, reluctantness <laughs> concerning some type of practicality or commitment here. We having this conversation about it. Are they standing by what they say? You know, not willing to budge or bend? concede at all practicality or commitment leo your partner has the fool could be dealing with an aries but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith take a chance take a risk and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing sight unseen just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it so leo listen could be dealing with an aries but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or they're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Leo's partner. Clarify the fool for Leo's partner. Clarify the fool for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult, something is heavy, something feels like a lot of work, something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders, something is a burden here for your partner. Now this is a 10, so this is an ending, this is your partner wanting to release a burden. So Leo, listen, your partner is telling me that they're having a difficult time, something is burdensome, and they're just wanting to release it. Now, is it that your partner saying I'm having a difficult time with taking this leap of faith towards some type of commitment here? Or is it that your partner saying, you know what, I'm releasing this burden and I'm just, I'm going to set out on a brand new journey. I'm just, just releasing this. I'm just, are they burdened by taking a new start? <sighs> Leo, your partner has death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Leo could be dealing with a Scorpio, but your partner could tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Leo's partner. Clarify death for Leo's partner. Clarify death. For Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck. Like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move. But they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things. Refusing to acknowledge some things. A lack of information. Block communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Leo, listen. Either your partner is saying that they're feeling stuck in a situation. Or this is block communication. <clears throat> is it that your partner is feeling stuck that they can't... <clears throat> Go through this transformation and start something new here. Something is new here. They can't take the leap of faith. They can't do it. They're stuck. They can't. Or your partner is telling me that they're ending things and blocking communication. Was there a conversation about coins, practicality, or commitment here? What in the world, Leo? Your partner has the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Leo, listen, your partner's telling me that something is off balance. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. They may be giving something here, receiving something here, or they're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Leo's partner. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Leo's partner. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Leo's partner. 
It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from their past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from their past is back. Now, they could be reminiscing on someone from their past, remembering someone from their past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Leo, you very well could be this person from their past that having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite. Your partner could tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Leo, two things. You could have ended it with this person and blocked communication, okay? This may be the reason why they're determined to come in and communicate with you. They're determined to have this new start with you. But having this new start is proving burdensome here, okay? That they want to come in and bring balance, maybe even give you something here. Because they're wanting to reunite. That's thing number one. Now thing two. Thing one and thing two. Thing two. Is it that your partner is feeling stuck? Like they can't move, like they can't even take this new journey forward here with someone from their past. And this is some type of truth that they're guarding. That something is coming in from someone from their past who isn't you, but they're stuck in something with you. Leo, I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for your partner. Goodness gracious. Oh, Calgon. Take me away, Calgon. What happened to Calgon? What, whatever happened to Calgon? I don't even see it on the shelves anymore. Did I miss some news? And so, it was my fault, but I blamed you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I listen. I don't listen. Leo, this is a peek at your partner for the week of July the 9th through July the 15th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe. Like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace